Well, good morning. Welcome to our uh, fourth Sunday of Advent service, or the last Sunday of Advent. Uh, glad you could all join us this morning. Um, again, as we kind of close to the end of the year, I just want to again thank all of you for your continued contributions and and financial support. It's I mean it's been a really rough year, but but we're doing okay. So that's that's the good news there. Um, However, kind of we're, we're in the planning process for next year for 2021 and its budget. And, well, we, we only have about half of the pledges in um, that we would typically have. So, again, if you, if you get a chance, send an email to Cheryl Immel or Sue Daniel Zuck or contact Julie or myself um, or send those kind of commitment cards in um, just so we can get, have the best picture uh, we can in preparing our budget because it's, it's really important for us and, and, and kind of how we prepare for next year. I know there's still a lot of certainty, but there, I know hopefully there's a, well, I know there's a lot of hope too for next year uh, moving forward. So um, also just a reminder, Christmas Eve services, we will be doing a candle lighting during the Christmas Eve service. So uh, have, a, have a candle ready, hopefully, when you watch that. And uh, we're also going to be having communion during Christmas Eve service and today. Um, so, uh, again, like every service, hopefully from now on, we'll be doing communion together. I know we had, uh, talked about wanting to do Christmas Eve as a live stream. Um, unfortunately, because of equipment deficiencies, you know, Facebook and YouTube often dropping and restricting things and just, uh, the safety of, of other people who would be involved, we're not going to be able to do a live kind of broadcast from here in the sanctuary. However, we will be able to do kind of a live uh, post of, of the service. So at 4 o'clock on Christmas Eve, we're going to post the video on Facebook as kind of a live post. And there'll be a chat box that we'll be able to interact together. So I'll be there. I'll be, you'll be able to chat with me, say Merry Christmas, hopefully some LOLs on some parts of the sermon if I, if I add those in there. Not sure what's going to happen. I never know if humor is going to work. But anyway, th there'll be a way for us to interact together. Um, again, it's just there's so much that goes into it, and we're just not able to do it safely and well at this time. So, uh, but again, we will have worship Christmas Eve, the 27th. We are going to be having a lessons and carols service that comes from Concordia College in Moorhead. So that'll be a special treat to kind of see and hear from the college students in the choir and, and, and see what they have to offer. So the 27th, we'll be doing that. Um, also, just in case you missed it, we are doing a kind of a live coffee hour every Sunday morning um, at 10 o'clock. So uh, if, you, if you're kind of missing people from church, Please join us. We've kind of included that in all the worship stuff that we've sent out, but I think we're going to start sending that out separately just so that everybody is aware of that and, and has that Zoom link um, at hand. Um, but I, I, I will say the 27th, there will be no virtual coffee hour. So uh, if you're watching this late this Sunday, it's the 3rd, January 3rd, is, is when we're going to start again after this Sunday with the coffee hour. So... Okay, I know that was kind of a lot, but uh, yeah, so let's uh, begin our worship, and we have uh, Angels We Have Heard on High, led by Barb Mork.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, as we celebrate the season of Christ's birth, there's nothing that stands brighter than hope. The thrill of hope, the excitement that no matter what life brings us, we can still have hope because of that night divine, the night when our precious Savior was born in a stable. Amen. Well, this Sunday is a special Sunday. Um, we have a kind of a musical service, a lot, a lot of different special music pieces, so we're going to be doing those together. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're actually going to have communion now. So if you haven't gotten those ready, go ahead and pause and uh, get those ready. Uh, but let's uh, join together in uh, communion. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all the drinks, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Well, again, if you're at home, this is the body of Christ given for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. Well, let's join together and pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace this day and always. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and abundant God, you've done great things for us and we rejoice. In this bread and cup, you give us life forever. In your boundless mercy, strengthen us and open our hearts to the world's needs for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we kind of want to begin our uh, music of Christmas program with uh, a poem that's written by our own Bonnie Nelson. So, prepare ye the way of the Lord. A Savior has come to spread his word. O little town of Bethlehem, how, how still we see thee lie. This quaint little town would be the first to hear Jesus cry. Infant holy, infant lowly, for his bed a cattle stall. He was born for me, he was born for you, he was born for all. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Oh, what wonderful news he will bring. Away in a manger, no crib for his bed. He had only hay on which to lay his dear head. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Oh, that we could have taken part in that glorious sight. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains. Let, let's join our voices with a Christmas refrain. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Spread the news throughout your life for everyone to share. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. A babe will live within our hearts, and oh, what joy he brings. On this most holy of nights, let your voices ring out in praise. We have received a most precious gift to enjoy for our life's days. We honor him, we serve him, we magnify his name. He'll walk with us forevermore. We bless the night he came.
touch their harps of gold. Peace on the earth, goodwill to men from heavens of precious King. The world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where Jesus lay. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine.
chains shall he break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name Christ is the Lord that ever ever praise we no shepherd boy to the mighty king. Do you know what I know? In your palace for mighty king. Do you know what I know? A child, a child, shiver 
And again, we have another poem by Bonnie to kind of conclude our service. Called, It's a Boy, It's a Savior. So many babies are born in the darkness of night. One special baby boy would bring so much light. We are to be joyful, we are to sing. And goodwill to others we shall bring. Such a tiny, precious baby boy who would bring to the world so much joy. 
He gives us joy so that we may live our lives for others, our love to give. Let us rejoice and sing his song of love and forgiveness all day long. Joy to the world, the Lord is here. He'll fill our lives with joy and take away all fear. The creator of the starts, bless your Advent waiting. The long-expected Savior fill you with love. The unexpected Spirit guide your journey now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. Prepare the way of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we conclude with Joy to the Worlds. That's played by Michelle and Deb.